And welcome to Stick Tap TV. I'm Keith Kornelik. And I'm Chris Kalazuski. And welcome to a brand new edition of Tweets of the Week. In this reformatted installment, we attempt to take your tweets from the interwebs, give our genius thoughts and perspective in a non-rambling amount of time. Go! Paul, what do you think of the newly announced Stadium Series jerseys of the Kings and Ducks? Chris? Uh, you know what, this is a big opportunity for someone to really make something really special. It's a special event. Let's be honest, fans, is the Kings and Ducks are probably not going to be playing in the Winter Classic every year. It could be 20 years. That they missed it, Chrome, is weird. I, I, I don't like either. I think the Kings one is absolutely hideous, and the Ducks one is slightly less hideous. Dig in the orange on the Ducks. Don't like the logo. Kings was an epic fail. Anytime you put the National Hockey League and Reebok in charge of design, <laughs> Okay, this one's from Adam at Hockey Misfit. What's your take on the Edmonton Oilers? Hashtag suck balls. Kornelik. Ah, the Edmonton Oilers are a terrible team with very little defense. I liked how they've improved Ilya Brzgalov, but they are destined for yet another lottery pick, and they'll probably draft a forward again. Yeah, you know what? When Ilya Brzgalov is your best goalie, you have problems. Actually, no. Jason Barbley is. Jason Labarba, maybe? Yeah, no. He just got called up. Yeah, you know what? It's a team that uh, you know picked way too many offensive players. I like for them to blow it up. Maybe pick two of those youngins and uh, start over again with some probably some more high draft picks coming up soon. From Ali at Broken Frame, which teams do you think will improve slash turn things around after the Olympic break? And are you looking forward to 24/7? Hashtag Crazy Carlisle. Yeah, yeah, I you know for the first part, I my guess is the Philadelphia Flyers. I think they're going to get a little bit better. I think they have uh, a decent goaltender. You know, I think they have you know forwards who are getting healthy again, like Javier, you know, Shen. Um, you know, I think Drew's back. You know, I think that they have a chance to pick it up. I don't not saying they're going to win the cup or anything, but I think they will improve after the break. I think the standings are kind of where they are, uh, like the Minnesota Wild, but they're already in playoff contention. Um, you know, I could see the Islanders doing something, but. Uh, for as far as 24-7 goes, I'm super psyched. One of my favorite series out there. I just love Liv Shriver's melodic voiceover, <laughs> and uh, I think it's going to be awesome, and Randy Carlisle is a pretty good addition to that. Yeah, definitely, and I love uh, you know being able to watch Daryl Sutter, too. It's going to be awesome. Guy's so bizarre and weird that uh, I think he's going to have some you know uh, funny uh, interactions with people, so I like it. I don't think he's in 24-7. Is that the other series? Aren't they doing that one? Yeah, whatever, fans. <laughs> you know what we're talking about. <laughs> Don't forget, fans, if you like the show, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends on the Twitter and the Facebook. We would greatly appreciate it. Hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. I'm Keith Kornelik. I'm Chris Kalazuski. Thanks for watching Stick Tap TV. <laughs> Whatever. We'll see what? how it goes.